Right, hello, here we are. Down TV versus Orcs, very positive. Uh, got no claw against him. He's got three guard, <laughs> a pommer. <laughs> but he's only got 11 men, and one's a thrower and one's a goblin. So there's some positivity to be had somewhere, somehow. Four guard, because he's got the troll as well. So four guard, outstrengthed, outbashing skilled. Uh, there's no real hope at all. I, like this is the this is the bad thing about chaos. This is the chaos are in the bad range now, aren't they? Chaos are in the bad range where their development is some block guys. You know, it's just this is the fucking thing. This is the problem with Chaos, they, they get their block skills, and they're like... I've got some block. <laughs> and then they come up against this, and they've just got guard stand firm everywhere, mighty blow pommers, and you're like, well I've got some block. <laughs> I think maybe he's a... Uh, Maybe Mighty Blow first is the way, honestly. With three rerolls, just. Maybe even go four rerolls and just go Mighty Blow first. It might actually be the best way to get results. Maybe. Because you just don't have the power anymore, do you? Like, you have quite a lot of power at 1000 TV. You've basically, I mean, you've basically got the same power at 1,000 TV as this team at 1,300 or whatever. Like, they're still just running around with, with Strength 4 and Edge 3 and stuff. They've got a bit more reliability, but they haven't really got more power, have they? If this was a Claw Mighty and this was a Claw Mighty and these were all Mighties, then all of a sudden, you know, there's, there's, there's angles to win the game. Instead of just nothing. Instead of my guys have some block. But if you're consistently poor, is there any point in consistency? That's what I'm saying. Like, is there any fucking point in being consistently shit? Yeah, block just adds reliability, doesn't it? It doesn't add power, realistically. It adds a bit against, uh, against like, goblins and shit. But mostly. Sure, Anz isn't letting you do anything, is it? It's just making things a bit more consistent. Yeah, kill. Okay, I mean, he's got fucking all guard. I can't do anything to him. It's just going to be horrible. It's just going to be fucking horrible. Well, I could have some guard. It's like, maybe I should have gone guard instead of tackle. I really hate the tackle. 
It is, yep, Ezekiel Brody. Down 100 TV. Which, you know, isn't that much. But you, al you always look massively down against Orcs just because they start with four blocks. So when you've got your four blocks, replace four guards. <laughs> um... So it always looks worse against orcs anyway. And then yeah, then we add on five more normal skills as well. But like even even equal TV, this would look like this would favour the orcs at equal TV, wouldn't it? And then when you add in the hundred disadvantage, it looks really bad. Really, 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 really bad. <laughs> Luckily, he's, uh, he's put a lot over this side. No, but I think they're all right at a thousand. That's the thing. I, I feel like they're worse at this kind of TV than they are at a thousand. I believe that. even though it's kind of irrelevant. Go for the banger plays, totally unrewarded. <laughs> Nice got stand up here, wonderful. Should I just concede? I'd like to. I'd like to just concede. I'm just gonna put the uh I'm just gonna put my face down. That was a bad mistake, wasn't it? No. Yeah, I'd even said as well at the start of the game that he's got loads of stand firm and I just didn't. Didn't register the stand firm on the block there. Didn't protect the ball. Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leur coéquipier. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. I'll lose the ball. And, uh, lose the game, really. You can be my wingman. Pretty lightly. Bullshit. You can be mine. Hello, Anna. Thank you very much. Um. Thank you for the raid. Welcome out the missed viewers. Just removed face cam to make you feel at home. Uh, should probably complain about the dice at this point. Oh, 
Oh, what an absolute dice in this has been! I just want to concede, to be honest. Nah, it's just pointless. Pointless children's game. to him. Seems good. I don't know, I don't I don't see how there's any way I get my head in this game whatsoever. <laughs> I just don't think it's possible. Probably shouldn't have uh, carried on streaming or switched to a team with the worst record or done something other than spin straight after that Nurgle game. I'm not going to probably end with a draw. Look at this. He's just annihilated me. How the fuck am I going to end with a draw? <laughs> How the fuck am I going to get a draw? There's nothing. There's no angle. There's no angle. That's why everyone who says Mighty Blow first is bad and advocates block is fucking wrong. Shit and wrong. Because this happens. <laughs> it, this is this is the danger zone for chaos. Everyone says about baby chaos being shit, but baby chaos are fine. It's they're fine at a thousand TV because they got strength four. What happens is when you don't take enough fucking claw, might enough mighty blow and claw, and you take shitty fucking cunting block, and you have this. I've got some block guys, and he's just guard and stun firming the living fuck out of me, and there's nothing I can do at all. So here we go, it's just inevitable, inevitable loss here. Absolutely inevitable. Inevitable. I don't know what this fuck is. This is just fucking shitty. No, this is fucking skinny jean wearing chaos. That's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did GFI's help here? Probably one GFI helps. Stand my characters up. Un 
ballon par terre est un ballon dangereux. Il faut le récupérer et vite. But it doesn't matter though. Like the annoying thing is that it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is not being a whiny cunt to make the stream unwatchable. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm failing at that as well, obviously. But. That's the important thing, isn't it? <laughs> it does work for our air. And you know, it's worked for me to an extent, but I think it's not as desirable as not being fucking miserable. I'd certainly rather be less miserable. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Given the choice between being Rick or being Artemis, I'd rather be Rick. No offence, Art. Yeah, exactly. Art, art does art does crazy, you know, crazy angry. That's that's okay. That's entertaining. Just being depressed is not, is it? You know, that's not entertaining. At least art screaming, shouting and screaming like a mad bastard. Just sitting there being sad is is no good to anyone, is it? But yeah, you know, like exactly. You'd rather be happy than sad, wouldn't you? Or, or rather happy than angry, whatever. Like it's <laughs> even if people enjoy me being raging, I'd still rather not be raging. I'd still rather just be going, "Woo, flip me, guys! This is great! <laughs> Woo! I just fireballed my own bull centaur! Woo! <laughs> you know, that's amazing, isn't it? But um." <laughs> The <laughs> fucking fireball is on, bro. Wow. Peak Rick, that was. That was peak Rick. I can't believe it. I think that's maybe the worst play I've seen in Dead Ball. Rick coming to the conclusion that yes, he had to fireball his own ball. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have two games? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't know, it was a few days ago. It was a few days ago. But, um. I don't know, I should have clipped it. I should have clipped it, Dio. Um, it worked for him as well, of course. Being Rick, it worked for him. But he literally just had to bolt one. He just had to bolt one guy. He had blocks to chain the other guys free. Like, he, there was a fair few, you know, like, he had a bull here, and he had some of his players here, and there was, like, about four enemy players. But he literally could have just, like, bolted this one, blocked this one, and chained the other one off and stuff, and then he could have break-tackled away. Um, it was amazing. All right, big knockdown. And we've got the dodge, the lob, and the tutty. Simple. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> easy. <laughs> Fucking easy. I mean that is the that is the thing that Chaos have going for them to be fair. But you, the, the thing is they've got that at a thousand TV, haven't they? You know, like that's why I think they're not that bad at a thousand. They have that they have that aspect of going for them at, at rookie Chaos. They're pretty good at the old desperation plays. And all I've added to this team with three hundred TV is reliability, a reserve, and some block. And a tackle, like it's it's fucking lame. Like it's the it's so lame. Yeah, Nurgle, don't do that. Exactly fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I guess they are, yeah, they're similar to high elves. I wouldn't say a lot like high elves, because high elves are rage four, and these dudes are strength four. But I guess it's similar to high elves. Like, I guess it's similar to the difference between, like, high elves and wood elves or whatever. I guess. Somewhat. Somewhat that when your catchers are getting dodge, yeah, okay, they've got some good things going for them, but, like, dancers start as dancers, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, high elves have got reliability in terms of their in terms of their armor, but not in terms of their plays, right? In terms of their plays, they've got two block and no dodge. Their catches have got more power with strength three, but they don't have dodge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Sean. Yeah, I wanted to go up the sideline, but then I thought I didn't want him to uphill surf me. And I thought he could he could do this play to base, and he fucking did. That was pretty annoying of him. Pretty anti-social of him to base, though. He could have just let me win, couldn't he? Uh, but, you know, typical asshole orc player, though. Why wouldn't you just let me win? Fucking scumbag. Should be ashamed of himself, shouldn't he? Yeah, delves. Yeah, that's that's that's. I mean, not really. No, I'm not. Yeah, okay. High elves to delves, but not really, because high elves again don't. I guess they've got the movement over delves. They've got a bit of potential, but no, nothing else really works because. No. No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think any of it works. Now that I think about it, I don't think any of it works. Good. Might not lose. Yeah, it's got three turns though. But there's a chance of not losing. A vague fucking chance of not losing. Hello, Yuri, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know why shouldn't. He's still got three turns to score. Yeah, Mr. Throw suddenly looks pretty good, doesn't he? In this situation, Mr. Throw is pretty nice. It's probably another reason why I like bad players like Mr. Throw, isn't it? Because they get into that... Situate they get into this situation more often. Not losing. So they Maybe. see a bigger return on, on Mr. Throw than a good player would. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Maybe not losing. Uh, I just I do I just I'm lazy kill. I just tried this setup once and then I'm just using it. There's no there's no reason behind it. <laughs> there's no there's no reason behind any of this. It's just there. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now he's got a four turn to score, so now, now it's looking likely a loss, isn't it? Disappointing that I gave up a reroll for a stall. I gave up the reroll for the one turn of stall. I mean, I could have tried the GFIs, so I might have used the reroll on the GFIs as well. But still, I was happy to commit the reroll. Like, you know, I was happy to let him base on the stall and use the reroll, and then he gets the turn back anyway. 
I mean, it, de it depends. Like, safe and boring is probably the best play if you're better than, you, than the opponent at Blood Bowl. Or if your team is better. Or if your matchup, like, racial matchup is better, isn't it? Basically, the more, like, just like real life, really, isn't it? The more advantages you've got, the safer you want to be. Like, for example, you know, if you're a billionaire. You should probably not even bother with some kind of crazy, crazy risky thing when you can just diversify your assets so you don't lose anything. On the other hand, if you're some p little poor shitter, why not stick ev stick everything you own on number thirty three on roulette because <laughs> you're not you haven't got much to lose anyway. <laughs> Basically, isn't it? Yes, of course. I mean, you can do, you can do what what you uh, what you like as well, of course. <laughs> yes, if you want, Dio. If you want to do it in a more wordy fashion, then yes. <laughs> Yes, there you go. That's it in good English. Or you can have me muddling through my life for 10 minutes to say the same thing. <laughs> I mean, you're just not just blood bowling correctly, Chandra, you know? You're just not blood bowling correctly. At the end of the day, Blood Bowl is, and I. That's why I kind of hate the thing that people say that it's Blood Bowl is just a risky game of risk management because it isn't, is it? There is more to it than that. He's given us two D on the ball here, hasn't he? I just realised. Okay, fuck it. I'll, I'll, that is I'll play. simply not true. The data does not support your assertion. No, I won't. I'll get a fucking cunting push and do absolutely fucking nothing. And then another fucking push. And I have my reliable block blitz to ooh, not get a push. Oh, hey, in a removal. Glorious. Oh, this should have been one across. This is a gaping hole in the middle, isn't it? Can't leave a gaping hole in the middle. Don't really want to leave a gaping hole in the side either. And I really don't want to use my rear on this dodge out. He could have been one across. That would have been a play, wouldn't it? He should have been one, one over. And then I should have planned this whole turn instead of blocking randomly. And I'll just make the three plus and it'll all be good. <sighs> I, mean, I could have GFI'd as well, that would have been that would have been a smart play, wouldn't it? But there you go. I mean, he can still make a gaping hole here, can't he? Sadly, he probably should have. He probably should have GFI'd. Well, not even probably. I think he definitely should. Oh, but he should be one across. He should be one across. That was the play. If he had been, if this warrior had been stood here. Yeah, exactly, Jelly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it at the end of the day, isn't it? 
A lot of people don't care, and that's fine. Like the games, the games not you're not supposed to care about the game, are you? Like you're not supposed to care about it. It's just a fucking silly. It's just a silly game. It's just a silly children's game. It, it genuinely is. Like that's all it was meant to be. And then it was the Blood Bowl Rules Commission tried to turn it into something it wasn't meant to be. It's just a silly. It's a silly kids' game. Is what it's meant to be. <laughs> yeah. And and the problem is the uh, the Blood Bowl Rules Commission turned it. You know, tried to make it a competitive game, and they did a pretty decent job. And so that it is, you know, almost good. And that's the problem with it, isn't it? Like, it's tantalisingly close to being a, uh, a, like, you know, a tactical game of things. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> and it was never meant to be. It was never meant to be. It was just a way for Games Worship to sell medals, wasn't it? And, like, and a bit of fun, like, you know, the whole thing with... With all the all the fluff from second ed and that, it's all it's all just like fucking derpy you know, fun stuff, isn't it? Yeah, up on the black orb is the play, isn't it? There's a chance of like a two D into a one D and then coming this way. But then I guess the stand firm means that Unless it's a removal, you can't. Du corps à corps, sans que ça va me plaire. Could just put him there, and then at least some things back, and I'm blitzing without block. Removal or dodge at the end of turn. Try for the removal. Well, that was the uphill that I needed. Just quietly, there's the skull. There's the nothing. I mean, he dodges blitzes and bases. Oof. That does feel bad. At least got in the way a little bit. Oof, yeah, if he if he plays this not terribly, he should score. But you know, there's always a chance that the opponent plays terribly, isn't there? At least got something in front of him. He could roll some bad dice. Unlikely, obviously, with three re rolls, but you never know. He could block with a troll and one in nine. One in eighteen. Would Pro for and pro team reroll for. If only I hadn't done the pointless block first, it wouldn't have stolen the good deaths. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't happen, that doesn't matter, does it? The, uh, it doesn't matter, the. Uh, 
what the actual dice were. I thought it was okay to, to go for that, but I mean, it was a 1 in 36 of using the reroll. But on the other hand, taking out the goblin for the second half would have been nice. It's hard for him to mess this up, isn't it, really? But. Stranger things have happened. Giving us two twos to hit the ball. Not even that. One two to hit the ball. Nothing to hit the ball. Oh, he's fucking made the dodge wanker. It was one. Two, it's one two plus to hit the ball. Wow! I was for sure. That was going to be a one. <laughs> oh, wow. Should have dodged him out first, I guess. <laughs> oh, fucking auto pathing got me. Maybe do a five, I could have done a four. I'd passed it wrong anyway, but then the auto pathing did instead of inst instead of making me go the right way, made me go the wrong way. But I, I was manually going to go that way. Never lucky. <laughs> Never lucky. You can still one D the ball now for a three plus. How? One, two, three, so double dodge, you mean, or what? He's got a double dodge with him. Or he could blitz him and then 2D him, but then he's got no recovery. He'd have to double dodge with this guy. And double GFI. What? Oh, tags him and then hits with him. Yeah, but then he's still he's still got he's still sandwiched between these two, so he's still got a dodge away, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I'd, I'd, he wasn't there to like stop him blocking assists. He was just there so that if he pals, he's still based. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought he might do. The old double dodge two D. Oh, 
I was unconcerned about him blocking the assists, to be honest. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have been. Maybe I should have been worried about him cancelling the assists. I just thought someone could cancel the assists, so I wasn't. I just didn't even think about trying to stop him cancelling the assists. And why bother when he's just going to do this anyway, right? Even if you cancel the assist, he just dodges. He's got a blitz anyway. I like this so that if he follows, he's in the tackle zone. I, I like getting that guy in. He rerolled the catch. Hey! <laughs> oh, Ducky forgot. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the important lesson. <laughs> Just get lucky, and then you can play as badly as me. <laughs> and now he's actually somehow down players. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out at first yet. Oh, Goliath. <laughs> yeah, the first two incarnations of Ducky were terrible. Hello, Scooron. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, Dio, there's been two games with this team uh, against Goblins and <laughs> hilariously against Goblins and someone else where, like, the dice were shocking and they should have 100% won but, uh, didn't. Look a dog. You know it. Oh, Scuron, I'll, I'll send you the message that I thought of. <laughs> Good old Scuron. Don't, 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 don't insult me for it, but this is my idea. kind of got to do it that's why <laughs> that's why I thought so. that's why uh, that's why it happened message gotta spend these at some point is that the uh, what is that I don't know. It doesn't come up on my uh, on my bot Alignment. Glorious. Baker Z. Oh, and a position. Oh, glorious. Will do. Will do, Goliath. Alignment and a position. Right, no one died. That's nice, isn't it? Can 3D a gobble? Push him, push him all over, you know, that's really good. Ooh la la! Really good result there. 
flip me, guys. Take all the mighty bow hits, don't I? Just to uh, get in the way a bit. Six joueurs sont tout proches. Le combat paraît inévitable. Okay, nothing to him. Mm, rough. Rough. Oh well, so the server's still eating wins then. That's good to know. Yeah, I didn't want to have a 3D with the, the Curse Warrior though, Cruza. I wanted to like move the warriors across to like get in the way of the ball and stuff. So I didn't really want to get more hits on the gobble as much as I wanted to get the warriors in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that was claimed by Hero to Sakara at midnight. I don't know how he'd said, I don't know how he'd established in his fucking, you know, six hour sample size that it had got worse, but there you go. Eight hours, whatever. Yeah, maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> Maintenance. Like it could have been, you know, he could have access to all the data and everything, but even then, over an eight hour stretch, it's hard to say. It's hard to say that it's got worse, isn't it? Just because your sample size is so, so small. I thought it was a bizarre conclusion to jump to, that it's definitely, that it's got worse. After eight hours, but there you go. On peut toujours compter sur les arcs noirs pour faire du dégât dans l'équipe adverse. Yeah, I don't think the maintenance was good for Blood Bowl too. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they were like, oh, let's fix that it eats games. I don't think that was any any anything to do with it or anything, but um you know I'm not a I'm not <laughs> I'm not a ludicrously optimistic person. But um I just thought it was weird to say that it's got worse so quickly, you know. Uh because they're French Nauticos. French people cyanide, French company, and uh, they gave you options for French people or English people, and the English people are like, yes Bob, this is great, and like, ooh, I remember when I played Blood Bowl, Jim, whereas the, uh, whereas the, uh, French commentators are like, holy fuck! <laughs> and ooh la la! And stuff, so I enjoy it more. Yeah, one day, one day power into cars as well. Shit ballon! <laughs> yeah, the Apple has been incredible, to be fair. It's pretty much the one thing that's gone well for this team. Uh, soggy Biscuit, Goliath. <laughs> Probably it. <laughs> Soggy sausage roll. <laughs> Again, go for the gobble. Got him. Good. Of course, would have cast a fucking orc with his mighty blow, but there you go. 
<laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. At least it's a player down, isn't it? <laughs> that was the point. Try it with. Even though he's a crappy gobble, at least get him down to nine. And then, you know, so, you know, down to ten as well, but at least uh, at least still got man advantage. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a chance. Yeah, blitz the skinks, everyone knows. Hey, he's feels really stupid, lovely. Yeah, hopefully they've got French commentary in Blood Bowl 3, right? <laughs> oh, lemon. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, but it would it would have worked if he'd hit a fucking black hole, wouldn't it? That was the thing. With the way the dice were. He rolled a nine, then a ten. So he could have he could have just blitzed a fucking uh, black orc and cast him, and it would have been much better. So it didn't really work because by targeting a goblin, he just removed a worse player than would have been removed <laughs> if he tried to kill the Saurus. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, yeah. I just think it's funny a better commentary. Also, it's more it's more. Whimsical, isn't it? It's more whimsical having commentary that you don't understand rather than the same fucking lines that you've heard over and over and over and over again. Like, even though I haven't played Madden, whatever it was, 19 or whatever, whatever the Madden was that I got on PC, even though I haven't played it for, like, years, if I turned it on, I'd probably know every fucking line of commentary. Whereas with this, I don't know any of the commentary still. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't know what any of it is. <laughs> so it's quite good. It's quite good for that. <laughs> Didn't they? Wow. They, 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 they literally had like... Uh, fuck off. They literally had like Madden 20 in the stadiums for Madden 21. Or maybe it's like Madden 20 had Madden 19 in the stadiums because they just didn't bother. Look at that. How do you protect the ball? Just get a fucking stud made. Easy. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bob goes crazy in, in, in French. It's amazing. Alright. I mean, there's a 4 plus 2D, isn't there? But I think it's probably better to uh, blitz him and get in front of him. I should have blitzed from down here so they could have got an extra square in, I guess. Face the ball. Double base the ball, or baby. He can't free the guard. He can free this guard, so this 1D has to be re-rolled. Uh, but even if I power him, he can just free him. Maybe I push him so that he can't free him. Maybe uphill him. Not activate and let him fuck it up. Okay, that's got some equity. That's got some equity involved there. <laughs> uh, undead. 70% with undead. There you go. Balls with a mouth, so tipped. 
<laughs> yeah, double burst is is GG easy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not activate line. Yeah. Yeah, he's still only fifty five percent of knocking him down anyway, isn't he? Could push him to the wrong square, like he <laughs> like he did. <laughs> In my opinion, I think he, he could have pushed him here. Ah, but I guess, but then he bases him, so it's, either way, it's not good, is it? Actually, fair enough. Yeah, not activating is pretty good, isn't it? Sometimes. It was a nice dog doctor, wasn't it? To be fair, with this guy occupying this square, either push wasn't very good because either he pushes him and keeps him in contact, or he pushes him to free him, but then. Now he's triple based. So either way, it wasn't great for him. Maybe should have thought about block, not block, not activate. Should have thought about that for longer than what I did. Doesn't knock him down again. Glorious. I guess his plan was to power and then come in and then have a guard next to the ball, but he's lost that option even. Nice, nice dice here. Getting two forty-five percent results. Like he can't block with a carrier because there's a warrior right there. <laughs> like he can't block. <laughs> he is. He is gonna. I mean, okay, you can 1D pow stun, but still. There's a, there's a warrior right here. I mean, there's a beastman as well, but the warrior's better, isn't it? Beastman did his job. Oof, that's a disappointing. That's a disappointing one because he could have been around for the recovery, couldn't he? KV. Scared. Glorious could go in the crowd, could be okay. <laughs> oh wow, the troll animation is pretty great. Wasn't such a great scatter in the crowd, was it actually? Maybe I shouldn't have scattered in the crowd. Right, so don't re-roll the pickup. But re roll the dodge. <laughs> oh, don't have to do that either. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Re roll this as well. We've got one. Right. So you can't really get in this way, so I think. We could block him off and then go for a troll blitz. So maybe go here. Wonderful. Wonderful. And only got four turns to survive. Could even punt it. Could Rick punt it. So it was a nice scatter, really. Like, that's why I didn't really want to stand him up because I thought, you know, if it goes this way, if it goes in the crowd, and if it goes that way, then he could stand up and get it, couldn't he? And if it went this way, obviously someone could have gone, gone down to get it. So I, I quite like that that scatter, but then it's further closer your end zone, isn't it? Which isn't ideal. 
being around there means that his throw could get it, so that's why I wanted him just stood there for sure. I don't know. No, he's just got an easy 2D on the ball because he was there and not one behind. Maybe I should have GFI'd. Maybe I should have GFI'd here. Yeah, and this guy's still free, so it's still good to have this guy there anyway. But yeah, maybe he shouldn't have re-rolled it. God, stop breaking AV every time. <laughs> Not breaking AV there, this guy could have just blitz picked it up and fucked off, couldn't he? Two armour breaks, both of them pretty annoying. Like two guys right next to the ball. Stunned is pretty annoying, isn't it? Good. Nope, not good. Mm. Looking pretty terrible all of a sudden. Those two stuns are just brutal. Absolutely brutal. I think GFI to keep it screened was best, Jolly. I don't I don't think punting was the answer. Can dodge, pick up, dodge. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Lob it to this guy who's free. He could dodge blitz first. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Fucking hideous, I need more shit down here. I just don't think I'm gonna get it. I think this is a draw, isn't it, really? So I might as well go for the only thing that can win it. I guess he could go there and could just block him. It's more conservative, isn't it? Like, it's terrible. <sighs> it's a reroll gun, so no stupid attempt. It's just base. It's like it's horrible, though. Like he's definitely getting the ball. Maybe I should have gone for the pass. Yeah, maybe. And there are all these stuns to come back, aren't they, next turn? So there's a chance. Cause like actually men up, he's he's got three guys off the field. He's only got eight men on the field. So if these stuns come back into it, all of a sudden it's not looking bad anymore, is it? It's just whether 
they get the chance to be relevant again. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Another stone. <laughs> Again, giving him a route to protect the ball. He's had a few, quite a few times where the stuns have protected the ball for him. Hey, he didn't get the knockdown. Glorious. Glorious. Happy that the more conservative line has paid dividends. Just for you, Dio. Fuck off! Not the fuck off just for you. Um. <laughs> okay. The conservative... The line was just for you. The conservative play... Not Fuck paying off. off. The conservative play not paying off as now he stunned the guy who could have hit the ball. And uh, because of course he has. That was that was uh, that was nice though. So there's still a there's still a chance to hit the ball, isn't there? Just dodge double GFI. And that's still been dodged GFI, so it's not that not that good a stun for him actually. And at least he's out of rerolls. So, you know, the conservative play might pay off. Okay, well, you just can't fail any fucking dice rolls. So now it's a 4 3. 4 3 2. Which is what I had the other turn, except the other turn it would have been a touchdown by rolling a 4 or a 3 and a 2 or whatever. Now it's just staying, so maybe the conservative play not so good in the end. Double GFI and then dodge. So Oh baby. Oh baby. Maybe conservative player paying off. <laughs> Last three roll okay. Fuck, maybe I shouldn't have done it, maybe I should have done the moves. It's too easy for him, isn't it? Maybe I should have just stayed next to him and then done the dodge. Oh, that would have failed as well, though, with a double GFI. God, all these fucking stuns, though, man. If that hadn't been stunned, then he's he stood up then, isn't he? Which is just brilliant. Never lucky. Never lucky. <laughs> There's definitely a chance, though, isn't there? There's a chance he doesn't make it yet another stun. <laughs> I mean, this stun doesn't really matter, does it? The whole block. Fuck off! Did it? Oh no, it freed up this guy. Freed up the air. Uh, the POW freed up the blitzer. And yeah, he could just fail this pickup, couldn't he? The game is always pushing me towards Dorf, 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 Dorf. Hello, Dave. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? You don't want to count on him failing anything, but on the other hand, you've got to do what gives you the best odds to win, haven't you? And, like, that was why I went for the 74% surf in the last game, and maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have gone to stand next to him with a warrior. So that he would have had to have 4 plus 3 plus... Fuck off! 
All <laughs> those three plus dodged away. <laughs> God damn it! Every block being a stun has made this defense harder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that one didn't really matter I guess like these two don't really matter at this point that is simply that not one the previous true. turn and that, that warrior does that not support your assertion to, to have a safe ball but yeah I could have cheer fired them on that turn to, to have been be, be, this is a huge dodge that, that dodge is bigger than the stunts isn't it because you just had a dodge to hit, and now you can't. So to be fair, this stun means that he's got this dude to activate, maybe. <laughs> How about I fail the first three plus after using the last three roll? <laughs> GG. of you so. I mean I don't know if it's true I don't know if it's true but it's nice to say isn't it he had a you know he rolled the dice didn't he at the end of the day it's not about deserving it is it a nice person in good ball outrageous That's right, innit? You don't care. Oh, I deserve to win. Like, it's fucking bollocks. It's not about deserving to, is it? Right, play for the riot! This fucking mighty blow guy has needed a touchdown for like years, it seems. me guys all we need is a riot easy chance of a riot and then no we didn't get a riot got the GFI though to smash the fuck out of Mr. Thrall smash the fuck out of Mr. Thrall Get him. Get him! Stomp him in the nuts! Bang. Exactly, yeah, just trying to make his team better. Never let it be said that I'm not a lovely fella. <laughs> Oh, 
Mr. Forrest. Hey, I'm, I'm Mr. Nice Man. I tried to improve his team for him now. I tried. Oh god, look at that. He got... <laughs> he forgot an MVP. And try to do my part by cussing him. Twice as many blocks he got. I'm gonna tell you how many stuns. Ugh, yuck. I really expect to take twice as many blocks when he has. He's got so much guard. So good. Oh, brilliant. I'm probably just guard, right? To have any guard at all. The rookies probably all just go guard. I don't know. It doesn't really make you stronger. <laughs> it doesn't really make you stronger. <laughs> Alright, get the MVP. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This team is shit. It's so shit. I hate these two. This could have been Mighty Blowclaw and this could have been Mighty Blowclaw. And instead the two absolute shit lords. With fucking block and tackle. And block and block and block. And all their teams got block. Who gives a fuck about block? Whoever saw a team and thought, Oh, they've got some block on them. What a scary team. Nobody. Right, 7-1-1. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Stay fantastic.